Now that we are done with our game, let's create the game into an executable file that can be played on any PC computer and look at game information in global game settings. Game information in global game settings is located right here, but you can also find it under edit, um, excuse me, resources, change game information. Game information is a place where you add help files and by default when you're in your game you can hit F2 and it will display this game information file type whatever you want and hit check now let's take a look at resources change global game settings global game settings are in charge of displaying the cursor when you run the game and whether or not to start the game in windowed or in full screen uh, go to resolution here you can set the resolution of the game. We know we built the game on an 800 by 600 map, but you can force the resolution to 800, 600, or even 1,600 by 1,200. This will force the resolution change on a person's computer. I wouldn't suggest doing that most of the time because certain monitors do not support certain resolutions. So let's not do that. Um, looking at the other tab, we see just different commands that explain themselves. Hit the escape key at any time, it'll exit the game. You can check this on or off. Um, here it is, show the game information. It seems to be under F1. And switched in full screen in windowed mode under F4. You can also change the loading bar when the game is loading. This is what the game icon looks like, which you can change. And besides that, you can include version and you can put yourself as the author and that's it you got your game done let's see what it looks like okay so I added some sounds and added a few other effects going on here but do what you wish with this tutorial take it even farther and make this game worthy to be distributed and that's it